Let's meet William Clyde Gibson, one monster of a psychopath, American serial killer who is currently on Indiana's death row. This gets fucked up. He committed three murders, one of which was his mother's best friend. The grossest part about this particular murder is that Gibson cut off her breasts and saved them in the glove compartment of his car. What the fuck, dude? He claimed that an evil had overcome him and had made him commit the murder. He was among several death row inmates to be featured in the documentary Inside Death Row. In the spirit world, and let me tell you, the spirit world is very real. Demons and devil, they're very real. It is not something to joke about. It is not something to play around with. Witches and warlocks, they have, they can cast spells. They can do things. And this is a time year where we have so many people that are, that are uh, amazed by it. We've got so many young people that are dabbling in it because they want to know about it. And let me tell you, if you're really interested in all of that, it's probably because you are called to be a part of that spirit world. You're called to be able to fight against it. You're called to be a prayer warrior. You're called to be able to fight in the heavenly and that's why you're interested in it and the enemy's trying to take you away from that side and he's trying to draw you into oh how cool it is oh it's not that bad oh it's not that big of a deal but let me tell you there is no witch there is no warlock there is no curse there is no demon or devil that has any power against our king jesus creepy fact part two Osberg witch trials over 40 children ranging from the ages of newborn to 16 were burned alive as they were suspected witches. In March 1692, Rebecca Nurse was taken from this room. She was a 71-year-old religious woman, and she was executed as a witch. By walking through her home, you feel a deeper connection with her and the Salem Witch Trials. You can listen to the full episode on my podcast, Someone Lived Here. Would you die for your beliefs? In 1556, a mother and her two daughters were executed at the top of these steps for theirs. The three women were discovered to be Protestant and to the disapproval of church authorities were sentenced to be burned alive at the stake. The execution was so brutal that one of the women, who was pregnant at the time, gave birth to her baby in the flames. Now, only a humble reminder of this dark history is left with a memorial for the Guernsey martyrs. Imagine being executed because of the name of your cat. This was the reality for women in the 16th and 17th century witch hunt. Here lies a Bible they were weighed against to prove their innocence. It is often forgotten that the first witch trials in the United States did not occur in Salem. They occurred in Hartford, Connecticut starting in 1647, where over time 11 people were executed for accusations of witchcraft. The first person in the United States to be executed for witchcraft was a woman from Windsor, Connecticut. It is thought that the executions took place on these grounds before the old state house was here on the green. headline today.
Pastor Greg Locke blames haters after YouTube shuts him out of the platform. Greg Locke perpetually blames other people for things that he, drama that he himself creates. Greg Locke is constantly spewing violent rhetoric and then whenever he gets shut down, he blames other people. This is what narcissists do. They can never take responsibility for their own actions. They're always pointing the finger looking and looking to blame anyone and everything but themselves. Greg Locke has called people witches in his church, trying to literally create a mob against people that attend his church. He has literally spewed violent rhetoric about taking up arms against Democrats and Democrat games. He is violent. His rhetoric is violent. But whenever he gets shut down for hate speech and misinformation, he literally just, he cannot take any responsibility. But it's no surprise because evangelicals have been trained to do this. It's why they blame women for everything. Anytime a man sins or, you know, they'll blame a woman. If a man cheats on his wife, they'll blame a woman for not, they just love to blame other people. It is ingrained into evangelical. And, and they also get it from Fox News. Fox News blames the left for every problem in the world. So blame is part of the evangelical mindset. And it's something that is practiced by narcissists like Greg Locke. So you know, Greg Locke cheated on his wife with his secretary. And I actually saw the text that he sent his ex-wife there's actually receipts of texts that he sent her and he pretty much blamed her for his affair classic narcissist he gaslit her he oh my god it was horrible i tried posting them on tiktok before but they're so hateful tiktok will not let me put them up yeah, I don't understand people's fascination with this man. I don't understand why they follow him. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. It's because he tickles their ears. He he tells them every everything they want to hear. He, he confirms their hatred. He appeals to their hatred of the left. He appeals to their hatred of Democrats. And, and he, yeah, just sad. Sad that people can't see through this. I think America's worth fighting for. I think your kids in these public schools are worth fighting for. And we sitting around fiddling while Rome's burning. I'm like, oh my goodness, he's a pastor and he's saying things like that. Whereas in your public school right now, they're serving up pornography and drag queen story hour. And everybody's like, well, you know, the pastor shouldn't say anything about politics. You have lost your mind. I love you enough. So let them call me the most dangerous pastor in America. I don't care. Because I'm just going to get up and load the old gun. I'm an equal opportunist. And I say, body of Christ, it is time that we walk in the God-given authority that we have in the power of the name of Jesus. And we say to the left and to the corruption and to the pollution and to the godlessness that this nation has been baptized. Yeah, hey, we walk out right in the middle of the traffic and say, enough's enough. Stop! Stop! I'm about to show you an interesting video. Hate preacher Greg Locke just did an interview with Candace Taylor, <laughs> the geo, the woman who ran for office in in Georgia under the title of Jesus guns and babies that was her slogan in the video they're talking about witches now Greg Locke is the guy who accused women of being witches in his church and basically put their lives in danger because he ex he threatened to expose their addresses to people in his church so they could literally engage in this modern day witch hunt now he's saying that teachers are infiltrating the schools as witches. Why is this guy so afraid of witches? He literally believes that he has the power of God on his side, but yet he's afraid of witches and he wants everyone else to be afraid of witches as well. And I honestly think at this point he's putting teachers' lives in danger by just accusing teachers now of being witches. This is literally a modern day witch hunt. So I'm going to show you this clip. 
you have skills that you've learned and God's shown you. So tell us, how do we deal with witchcraft? <laughs> well, first of all, you have to boldly acknowledge their existence. Okay, you got to get away from this long pointy nose, you know, green face, Wizard of Oz flying around on a broom idea. Witches are reality. Matter of fact, our public school system is hiring full-blown, well-known witches at an alarming rate. I mean, Facebook, there are huge, huge, massive, I mean, thousands of people in these witches' covens. Now, here's what's interesting. I, I've never dressed up like a witch so I could infiltrate a witch's coven and pretend to be one of them. But witches dress up like Christians and come to churches all the time. Uh, I have to make a... a standing announcement every single Sunday night. I did it just last night. Uh, God did not tell you to lay hands on me and pray over me. I have to do that all the time because I let my guard down a few times and we had some witches come in, lay hands on me and pray. And I'm telling you, it rocked my world. I'm telling you, witchcraft is real. In the spirit realm, you better be able to see that stuff. And I mean, I got sick. It, 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 it messed my flesh up. I was having nightmares and I'm like, what in the world?